All right, today we're gonna clean and prep a cauliflower head. And I haven't done anything to this. This is the way you get it from the supermarket. It may even, it has even a couple of bruises. I'll show you how to do that, because this is reality. Um, I would start by snapping the bottom leaves. Some people throw them out. I actually uh, eat them. Uh, if I'm doing rice cauliflower, I, 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 I eat them. They're green, they're, they're not bad. They're the same uh, taste and consistency of your cauliflower. But you can either snap them or reach in with your paring knife uh, down to the bottom. I have not washed the cauliflower. Usually cauliflower, I first, first cut it, get it ready, then I wash it. Of course, after we do this, please also wash and sanitize your cutting board. Once you get to this point, move back, put them in a bowl, we'll wash them later. I want you to reach for you guys to reach down here and start cutting the base of the cauliflower. You're gonna see it inside there. You're gonna see a nice, how is the cauliflower there? It looks like a tree. So you're gonna see there, and the camera's doing a fantastic job today. You wanna cut that stem right there. And you're gonna separate them into florets, or I call them mini trees. Chef, can I just, just slice it in the center? Um, I'm trying to do this that is um, aesthetically uh, eye appealing. And also, I want to cut them all together. And you're going to have different sizes. I'm going to show you how to pare it down and trim it so they can all cook together. And just go ahead and start cutting. Of course, the ones on the crown, they're going to be a little bit smaller than the one in the center. I'll show you how to uh, clean the core in a moment. And here is your cauliflower florets. Now, this is gonna take longer to cook than this. They have two different cooking times. So what I'm trying to do is, since I'm gonna cook them all together, I'm gonna try to take this guy to the same size. How do we do that? Very simple. Take the big chunk, start in the center, cut, separate, and you can cut them down again. From here, you can even use them for crudités. Yes, I do eat raw cauliflower. It's actually good for you. And just cut down the stem, gently separate them with your fingers. Cut down the stem, gently separate with your fingers. And the goal here is trying to make them all the same size. Don't make them too, too small. Now, if you want to do big chunks of cauliflower, that's fine too. This is my favorite size. It's about inch and a half, especially when you throw them in the oven for roasting. That is really nice. So basically using your paring knife, we're going to pare it down all to size. Uh, the big one, I'll just cut in the center. The top one, always have the smaller ones. Try to keep them all the same size. Cut this one down, and it's very, cauliflower is sturdy, at the same time, very tender. Cut down, and I like to separate with my fingers so it doesn't give it that, that knife cut in the center. And here's my cauliflower already taken down, and they're all about the same size, so they all will cook at the same one. Now you wanna take them all down to this size. It's as simple as keep cutting them and separate them until they're all the same size. Right now, this is a time that you can wash your cauliflower, plenty of cold water. I actually add some vinegar into the, into the water to, to um, help with the microbe uh, uh, killing power. If there's any black spots in there, what we do is with your paring knife, just peel it back. And that's mostly bruising from transportation and, uh, and handling at the supermarket. You don't know who might play football with them at the uh, supermarket, but, but here it is. Here's your cauliflowers already cut into florets. And let's not forget about the core. The core, the cauliflower actually is really tender if you remove the outer layer. And what you do is do one cut down. almost like getting your potato ready for the knife cuts. We have also a video, video for that. 
and basically now I have, moved, I have removed the outside um, layer <coughs> of the core and I just want to peel and it exposes the core of the cauliflower and it has the same texture and flavor of the cauliflower. If I was going to steam it with uh, my cauliflower, I would cut it about half an inch thick. And that is your cauliflower floret with the core ready to go.